Welcome back. Been a while since my last video. I got to level 16. Well into it, as you can see. Got a bit of money. I've been spending money left, right and centre. I bought some binoculars. So, yeah, let me show you them. I don't know why. I just, I was so curious. So that's your regular zoom. Oh, super zoom. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them. Put it this way. If you're thinking, don't bother. So we're going to get and do some more fishing. So I've actually looked at a couple of these other lakes. So I looked at Belayo. I think I did a video on that. Didn't like it. Quarry. It's okay, but it's a spinning lake. I'm not focusing on spinning. I think I'll take you to Quarry once I'm uh, better at spinning. I am kind of working on it occasionally. But honestly, bottom feeding is just more enjoyable to me. I like it. You know, it's, it's much more active. Um, I mean, obviously spinning is active because you have to pull the lure in. But I don't know. I'm just better at spinning. So here's my current skill set. Everything's gone up quite a bit. Uh, float fishing I've kind of left behind because I've gone with three feeder rods now. Um, ground bait's going up. Cooking's gone up a little bit. Harvesting bait's gone up. Uh, I have an insane number of bait of worms. Uh, <laughs> nearly 3,000 worms. Uh, I've been making some new baits. So look, we've got wheat seed, cottage cheese dough, garlic dough, oatmeal porridge, pea porridge, pea barley, semolina, sweet dough, wet bread, diced cheese, diced potatoes. Um, okay, diced, the cheese thing. It's very confusing. I kept seeing people on chat talking about using cheese and they were below level 16. You can't do it below level 16. You, you're allowed to, but you can't buy the cheese. So either they were being given some by premium members or there is some method that I haven't found because the only place I found to buy cheese is Quarry Lake. So I went there and spent 25 silver just to buy cheese. <laughs> and obviously I had a look around. It's actually very cool. The water's very clear. So I made a video about how it's cool because I could see on Belaya River, I saw the fish come up and actually mess with the bait. One Quarry, you can totally see that. So <clears throat> it's nice. It's a little, it's a little dull. It's just big rocks around. It, it looks very barren. It looks like a quarry. To me it might be a quarry does it actually say that because it really does look like a quarry there is a conceals a complicated bottom full of deep holes apparently it doesn't look complicated to me uh, doesn't say anything it's it's okay it's okay this is a very um flattering shot of it because on this other side it's just a big rock wall basically uh, you also can't circle the lake which is really annoying. There's a beach you can go down, but then there's this point you have to get to the other side. You have to go all the way around the other way, which is just honestly bad design. <laughs> it's just bad design. Um, anyway, so what are we going to do? I thought, well, let's make some ground bait. Uh, I'm going to try carp mix. This whole system isn't great either. It's very confusing. You just have to remember. I want to go into the store. And in the store, be able to bring up my crafting recipe because as it is, I have to go, okay, I need peas, fly maggots, corn, vanilla. And what happens is you will go in, you'll buy the peas, you'll buy the fly maggots, the corn, you get the vanilla or whatever it is and find out, oh, I'm not high enough level. But you just, you can't check those things without leaving the store, going into this menu, trying to remember it and go back. I happen to know I can use all of these. So uh, let's buy some stuff, ground bait. So... Basics. Let's start with the peas. Wait, I can buy peas, right? Nope, I can't buy peas. Wait, what do I have? I have some in my... Um, what are these? Peas. Scraggy? I can buy peas. Why can I not use peas? This Is this a different type of pea? Let's try adding them. See, ground pea. Oh, different type of peas. Okay, so here's a good example. I can't buy ground peas, apparently. So I need some ground bait. Anyway, so what can I make? I can make crucians. That's all I've been catching, though. Crucians are driving me nuts. It's all I'm buying. I can just make regular ground bait. Okay, let's just do that. All right, let's buy some stuff. Oh, I have to go into the store to do it. Yeah. It's cumbersome. Um... I don't know. Should we try something new? No, let's do ground crate. Let's not. I, as soon as I said that, I'm like, no, let's not. Let's do the same thing. So let's put some fly maggots in it. I like fly maggots. Get 10 of those. We could add another one if we want to. Oh, look, there's peas. Let's put peas in it. Two, three. I already had one, remember. 
So I have to try and remember. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then attractant. So do vanilla, caramel. Can we get anise yet? I hate anise. The fish might like it, but I hate it. I tried fish oil on another one as well. Uh, what about garlic? God, it's expensive. It's the garlic. The garlic dough balls work really well. So, all right. So we're going to make our own ground bait. Where is it? And it's going to be ground crackers, fly maggots, peas, and garlic. We're going to call this crackers. Was it peas? Peas, maggot, garlic. Was that right? Peas, maggots, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's another thing that's annoying. So you make it. Yay, made it. Oh. You have to put them all in again. This is just, a, it's just cumbersome. It's annoying. I know it's alpha, but this doesn't feel like it would be very hard to implement, to be honest with you. You know, just have a boolean that says use last ingredient and set it to one. How hard is that? I would, ra it, I would rather have to change it every time. I don't mind if it comes up with the wrong thing. I just hate that it comes up empty every time. Or better still, which is a little more difficult, but still not hard, just remember this recipe. So if I bring up this recipe, like, I'm, hey, make my special mix. Maybe there's a way to do that, and I just haven't seen it. All right, we're just going to make a few of these. I really want to get my ground bait up as high as I can to see if it makes a difference. Where am I at? 31.3. Okay. Oh, yeah, so the other thing is... We'll make one more. The other thing is, after I said that I was done with cooking, it just seemed pointless, um... Bread does still seem to be like, you might as well just use bread. However, okay, so we're done with that. However, check this out. It was worth it just to get to mulled wine. This stuff is fantastic. <laughs> mulled wine is really good because it, it gives you the alcohol so you, you're tipsy. It increases your comfort and it fills you up a little bit. In fact, let's try some right now. So yeah, it's like, it's, it's definitely the winner. Uh, let's go do some fishing. Now then, where should we go? Oh, wait, 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 wait. One thing I wanted to try. I've been catching the same fish. I'm not catching new fish, and it's kind of annoying me. I'm trying different baits, different spots. Um, I want to try... I bought some really good hooks. Uh, I bought these, and they're excellent. Very expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. But I wanted to try some biggest hooks. I just thought, you know what? Let's give it a go, see what happens. I mean, let's try a four. We're going to put a 35 silver hook on one of our rods. Uh, let's make it the third rod from the sun. I'm going to change that for the number four. There we go. All right. Yeah, so I tried spinning. I tried, um, I tried lots of different things. I tried spinning. I tried. I kept with the float fishing. I brought the bolognese rod out. Bolognese fishing is horrible. It's really not enjoyable to uh, to do it at all. Hooking is a nightmare on it, and you can't see the float most of the time unless you buy. I could now if I bought the binoculars, but just in general, it just feels very clunky. It's just not it's not an enjoyable experience. Float fishing is still good. Spinning fishing is fine. Um, I've done a little spin fishing, um, but feeder fishing is my bag. Okay, a word of warning. Remember, we're on old bear, so right here. I decided to do some float fishing right here, uh, some uh, feeder fishing right here. Well, center screen right now. Look at that, I can zoom right in. So right there, where that little brown bit is there, don't cast there. There is a trap spot under there that caught me twice, and it's it. you don't get the snag bug. It doesn't say you're snagged, but you can't free your, um, you can't free your, your lure whatsoever. So you're just kind of stuck. Apparently, my wife is inviting all of us to a thing. Um, yeah, so you have to log. You have to log out. So, yeah, don't go there, whatever you do. 
But we're going down to the bridge. The bridge is really good. I've caught a couple of eel here. Or maybe just one eel. Eel, something like that. Um, but it's... Um, it's really good, this spot. I tried not to... I shouldn't have run all the way up there. But um, lots of fish here. It's really busy. Unfortunately, a lot of crucian carp. But I don't... I don't really know what I can do about that. I've tried everything I can. I've tried moving to different spots. I keep coming back here. Uh, all right, so let's put the bait on. I tried boilies. These caught nothing. I might just be too low level. Um, hang on a sec. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to turn this off. All right, there we go. I turned it off. Uh, okay, so... Um, yeah, the boilies caught nothing. So I'm going to set my clip into eight. And it uh, looks like I need some food. So let's just have some baked potatoes. Let's drop this in. And hopefully, they're biting tonight. But this is a really good spot. Okay, so that one had worms and ground bait. This one, let's try the garlic dough because the garlic dough has been really good. And drop that one in. Oh, I didn't set the retrieval speed. All right, well, that'll be annoying. And then number three. This is the one with the small hook. So what should we put on it? Let's see. Semolina is pretty good. Let's do cheese. Cheese is good. The ground bait. Set the retrieval speed all the way up. Set the friction. Drop it in. The clipping should be 8 meters on all of these rods, that's what I've been using. It seems to keep the clipping setting, which is good. I don't know why it doesn't keep the other setting. Let's see, we got something here? Oh, look, baby. A lot of roofy. Roofy. It's not roofy. Ruffy. I don't know if it's roughy either, but it's not roofy. Alright, and then you got to uh, you got to bait the land. Let's see. This is one of my old baits, so we'll use this. My old ground baits, for sure. Now the guide says, put tons of them out there. Just layer the ground. <clears throat> Though I assume you can overfeed the fish, surely. That's gotta be enough, isn't it? That's a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of ground bait. Okay. Um, ugh, God, that binoculars is weird. So, uh, one of the cool things you can do, one of the, a good little tip I found, is if you think you have a fish on, you're not sure, like I just heard something. You can just press Y to reel it in. And it tends to make the fish, if the, if the fish is on, it's going to swim away. So I had fish on both of those, and I didn't know it. <laughs> Hang on, why is my... Why can't I change my... There we go. See, look, crucians. It's all crucians. The one issue with this spot with the bridge... It is a really good spot. I think it's my favorite spot on the lake now. Is uh, that you off, You have to use the net quite a lot. The landing net. It can be difficult to swing them in. Okay, we got a one. What we got on here? Come on, all the way in. We got nothing. Perfect. Come on. Okay. So, tight lines, Crucian Bream and Xander. Remember that song? Okay, so everything tight. And then, uh, if you don't, not sure if you get a hit, just tighten the reel just a little bit, and usually the fish will swim away. Why am I missing? Am I taking too early? Oh, I have the retrieval speed low as well. I miss my routine. I have this whole routine I go through before I bring them out now. But you lot disturb me. Uh, I've been watching a few videos on pe on uh, people playing Oldberg. Um, it feels like everyone except me is catching better fish. <laughs> Not necessarily bigger fish. I've caught quite a few trophies now. Well, uh, enough. I feel like the fish are okay. But I'm catching the same fish. People like who are a level below me are like, Hey, I got a new eel. Hey, I've got a Xander. Oh, look at this asp. I'm like, what the fuck? Why am I just getting Crucian and Gibble? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just my setup. Was there something on this? No. God, this is slow. Why is it so slow? 
Hey, something on one. Okay. Here we go. No, I don't want that. Oh my god. Here we go. Now we're going to be landing the beasts. See what I mean? Sometimes you have to get this crappy landing out, out, net out. And I've seen eel caught here, so I'm definitely in a spot. I mean, the fish move around a lot, so you never know, but there are definitely eel in this area. Prussian carp, Prussian carp, Prussian carp, it's all the same. Now let me just check, is it this rod that has the number four hook? Yeah, this has the number four hook. <gasps> Someone's walking by the house. Django! Quiet boy. He's a little nuggy. Protects the house. Little five pound dog protecting the house. Well, he's not five pounds. 50 pounds. Don't tell him he's getting fat. I keep missing. It's weird. Um, so, me missing doesn't go well with what I'm about to tell you. The new hooks have made a huge difference. <laughs> Honestly, like I was getting fish got away, fish got away so often it was really driving me nuts. Which is why I went crazy and, and bought these hooks. Where are they? I still have some of the old stuff, as you can see. But these ones, the classic Silk Series CL17, they're fantastic. I'm pretty rare that I lose fish. I think I've just been setting too early on the last couple. But really good. Highly recommend them. Um, let's see, have I got any more new gear? I got a third rod. My my rod setup is all the same. I've repaired my reels. All of my reels have been repaired once. Um, because they were wearing down and they're going again. So next I have to think about what next reel to get when I take the move up. And I think I want to go to basically a 10 kilogram setup, right? A reel that does nine and a half or 10 kilograms. Um, and then uh, a rod that can handle a lot more than that um, so that I don't have to update it as much. But that's like a thousand silver, so it's expensive. I wonder if the hook's too big on, on number three. Not catching anything. Hmm. Nothing. We've taken some beautiful sun sunrise. We had a purple sunrise yesterday. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, come on, fish. We have to do is not look. That's the key. Don't be looking. Actually, there is a key. What's this? Happens every time. Low energy. Something hits. Something just hit. Did you hear it? Which one was it? I think the game knows when you're low energy. So it's like, ah, mess with him. This will force him to drink something. Which one is one of these? Yeah, I think it knows when you're low energy. It says this will force them to drink something, spend more money, boost the economy. So it doesn't quite work. Don't lose this though, because I'm low energy. The grind from uh, 15 to 16 was an absolute nightmare. Oh my god, it took forever. See, look, it's all going to be these little crucians. It's frustrating. Almost as frustrating as the landing net. Oh, come on, you spaz. Put it in. There we go. Oh, I need ground bait. Uh, I'm using the pattern to rig. Actually, I'm using inline. Maybe I need to change that. I unlocked... Let's put a boilie on there. King crab. And then the only reason that I'm using king crab is because I heard the eel like fish pieces. So in my logic, I thought like, well then, I can't make fish pieces yet. I don't have that skill. But a boilie, fish flavor boilie should work, right? We'll see. Hmm. I wonder if this hook is too big on here. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm using the inline rig. Uh, let me show you. So inline rig, which basically means that the feeder can just slide along the line as opposed to the Paternoster, Paternoster rig where it's set up. But I actually think I was catching better on the Paternoster. So I might put them back. It may not make any difference. Also, I've read that you get better experience if you are fishing either fish that you haven't caught before or fishing in a manner that you haven't used as much. So that's why I switched to this. I thought it might increase because the grind from 15 to 16 was basically this. Paternoster rig, uh, three feeder rods, just filling the net to 100, selling it all, filling a net, selling it all. Very few um, changes to that system, apart from the fact that I guess I did get some, uh, what have I caught since you've been away? Seven trophies now. I think I only had two before. A um, Couple of decent fish, I mean 3.2 bream is nice. It's a big fish. Uh, good crucian, look at that, 1.91. Um, Chubb was the first one I went to Winding Rivulet or whatever Just managed to get one, got very lucky uh, but yeah that's about it 7 trophies eh not bad Bleak Chinese Sleeper, Crucian oh, 2.18 Crucian 2.457 Gibble that's big yeah not bad I want to catch Golden Tench though I think uh a lot of experience on there. All right, well, it looks like the fish aren't biting here today. So they say when the fish aren't biting, you need to pick up and move. The problem is when you've committed to a spot, like you've thrown in ground bait, you've set everything up, I don't know, pain in the ass. Then I have to go somewhere else. Where could I go? There is a spot down that way that's kind of good. Or I could go around the back over there, which I haven't really fished. I did it once. I'm going to do that. Let's go over there. Come with me. We're going to go on a little journey around the back of the old burg. Oh, there was a roofie on there. Come on, give it. You also have to watch out for the wear on the lines. I didn't know that. The line wears down as well. Ooh, those smart Russians. Running disturbs the fish, but we don't care. We're not fishing there anymore. Now, where is that spot? Is that it? That might be it over there. I also tried fishing that. <laughs> I just wanted to see if there was like a, a secret to it. You know, let me turn the clipping all the way down. So I thought, you know, let's just try. There we go, look. So I've got my longest cast out of it. Because I haven't done it in a few levels. I mean, what do you think? What do you think? You think that will catch anything? You never know. That would be awesome. See, that would be a great Easter egg to have in this game. That you can catch. There's only one type of fish. There is a type of fish that you could only catch by casting off the map. I would appreciate that. The developer and me would appreciate that, but I'm pretty sure they don't have that. That ain't the game they play. They play. They just want our money. That's a long cast though, look at that. Holy shit. Come on, son. I hope you come. All right. Now, uh, where was that spot I was looking? Was this it? Yes, this is it. So I could try here. I was casting all the way over there when I came here before, but I'm thinking actually, maybe I could just do a little short cast right off these lilies, right there. Yeah, let's give that a go. Okay. Bit of ground bait. We've got a worm on there. Drop it right there. Go for number two. What are we on? I don't... I'm not doing the boiling. It doesn't catch. It doesn't catch anything. Um, sweet dough's still good. Sweet, go, sweet dough's still doing the, the business. Okay, I like that. Close the reel. Three. Clipping eight meters. Something's hitting on one. That's a good sign. 
All right, let's see what do we got? Please don't be another crucian. I'm so bored of it's a gibble. All right, well a gibble at least not it's not a crucian. Oh, it's a common. Ooh, ooh, but I never. I need to get tipsy. Hmm. I don't know if they're good silver common. They might be. You know. All I know is I can't just keep keeping uh, hitting crucians. This is it's getting ridiculous. It's the only fish I catch. That's a tench. Isn't it? Oh my god! Yeah, not bad. 790 tench. That's what's that on? That's on cheese. Yeah, I think tench like cheese. Okay, this might be more promising, this spot. Not just because we're hitting more, but we haven't had a crucian yet. Shut up, you idiot! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Maybe it's the lake. The lake is just filled with crucians. I haven't even thrown any ground bait out yet. Alright, I think we'll set up here for a while, so... Let's throw out... Crackers, peas. Garlic. And maggots. A bit further. Here we go. That should do. And then actually a pretty cool way to time it because it, it's hard to know how long your ground bait has lasted, right? So if you try and time it or basically get into a rhythm where you replace the ground bait on your rods um, and then you throw the ground bait out. If your rods are out, then you know that the... the uh, the ground bait needs to be re re uh, replenished. I'm having a brain fart for him. Maybe this is me having a stroke. Fucking crucian carp. Why is it? Why do I keep... What am I doing wrong? That I keep getting the same ones. I've tried mixing the ground bait. I've tried... Let's see. I have The only thing I haven't tried is different setups. So I'm having the inline rig uh, with the size 10 hooks. Right, and actually now I'm trying a four. But I've tried different spots, different different bait. I mean, look how many baits I have. Hang on, let me get let me get this massive eel that I'm about to catch in the middle of the day. Roach. Okay, that's exciting. I've got. I have every bait that I can make in my arsenal, and I switch through them. I go from. The pearl barley, the wheat seeds. Might try the pearl, the wheat seeds right now, actually, with this one. Let's get rid of the one. Ah, I lost it. Yeah, let's get rid of Look, I mean, I have everything. Let's try wheat seeds. I think chub like wheat seeds, don't they? And yet, it's all crucian carp for me. Carp. A lot of gibble as well, but mostly crucians. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, I did read the, uh, how to catch frogs. And it's a float fishing technique. You have to have a... Oh, another tench! Yes, how exciting! So frogs, apparently, what you need to do is uh, you need a small hook. Do I have a small hook? 14, 14, 14. I have a 16. That might do. They recommended, I think, 18 or 20. But I might try that. And then you want to uh, float fish, right? Set the depth to about 20 centimeters. But you want to listen for the sound of frogs and get as close as you can. So apparently, that sound effect that I thought was just random, it is actually, according to one person at least, the location of the frogs. So the closer you can get to it, then you cast your float out. So I might try that a little bit later when the frogs come in. Let me just reel in this crucian. Oh, nothing. So I tried other rivers. I tried the Balaya. I tried uh, Kuori. I went back to Mosquito. And the problem is, is it's 
This is a this is the most variety I've seen. You're watching me now with the most variety I've seen in I don't know twenty thousand points or what is it ninety thousand for a level a hundred thousand k of experience or something. Turn it up a little bit. I want to hear the frogs. I think I did catch. Um, 87 fish in one day. So I think I broke my record. Let's have a look. Statistics. 109 record catch for one day. That's a full net plus nine. That's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, from the bridge, probably. Just because it's so consistent. It's consistently the same fish, but it's all money. Gibble. <gasps> Another bream. This is good. What's this on? Wheat seed. Okay. Wheat seed. Bream like wheat seeds. I remember that. Maybe I'll... Um, maybe I should put wheat seeds on everything. Okay. Bream like wheat seeds. Cheese is... Roach. And then sweet dough. Is that what I have in the middle? I think it's sweet dough. It's carp, right? That's a roach too. Hmm. The biggest problem with this spot and that spot is just how far it is to the um, the market. It's really annoying. They have, I've noticed, they have motorbikes and boats, uh, motorbikes and cars that they have an icon, you can't do anything with them. Come on. You can't do anything with them, but when you get close, it will say like motorcycle. Oh, look, oh, it's a good crucian, it's a big one. No, it's not. Um, it'd be great if you could choose to get a ride back to town. <laughs> you know, they could just systematically place them around the map, like put one out here, just walk up to it and get a ride back to town for five silver, ten silver. I'd do it. Ooh, there we go. Decent fish. Don't lose it. So this is the thing. With the old hooks, I would probably have lost this fish already. Well, that's good. It's a good fish. I'm going with uh, 1. 1.5. 1. 1.5? 1. 1.9 nearly. It's a good gibble. Like that. Gibble on the wheat seed. I think if you want to get really good at this, you need to start taking notes. You know what I mean? You've got to write down the positions, the temperature, like, okay, so it's, you know, there's barely any wind. It's 10.6 degrees Celsius, whatever that is in human temperature. Um, it's cloudy. This is my position. I think you need to start taking, like, a detailed log, and then you would... I assume the game is consistent in that regard. You know, the fish are actually... They bite more on in certain circumstances. Is it that one that's moving? Yes. What do we got here? Let's bring him through the rough. Another roach. All right, well, that's the update. Boring video, I wish I could show you. Maybe, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna leave this open and then I'm gonna cut to me catching a big fish. Maybe. I'll see you in a second when I've caught one. All right, I might have something on. Probably a grass carp. Uh, it was pulling really hard, I don't know. It's still pulling. It's pulling hard. I tried casting all the way over there. I got a 33 meter cast out, but uh, I only caught a tiny tension net, so I gave up. What is this thing? Still pulling line. Woo woo. Don't go into the red. It's a number four hook on here as well. Number four hook and that red worm, I put red worm on here. 
brought out the big guns. Damn, this has got some pull on it. Moving around. Look at it. Come on, mate. Give up the ghost. I promise I'll put you back. Telling you, porkies. Where are you? You're under there, are you? Bloody bell's going to drive me nuts. Fish got away with my amazing 30 silver hooks. Oh, that was a good one. I think that was a big one. Damn it. I bring it. Okay, I barely stopped recording and I got one on exactly the same rod. Maybe it's the same fish. I don't really know what I did wrong last time. This one feels a little weaker. It's striking hard though. Come on. Nope, that's letting that line. It's, it's in the same position as well. I think it's the same fish. I wonder if that concept is alive in the game. Like, is it the same fish? No, it can't be the same fish. Maybe? They probably spawn the fish at the moment they decide, okay, he got a hit, or a fish is going to investigate the bait. Spawn it now, so I doubt if you can catch a fish once it's, you lost it. But you know, that would be a good concept for the game. Like, legendary fish that anyone has a chance of catching. I'm going to lose it again, aren't I? I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm going to lose it. I'm not... Look. I hope it's not a grass carp. I mean, honestly, it would be nice to catch any fish that isn't a crucian. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I am catching non-crucian at the moment, so it's good. But grass carps are annoying. You fight them for 20 minutes and then, you know, they're not worth much silver. Come on. I think it's not pulling line which tells me it might be really big this could be very heavy for my gear yeah it's on the surface is that on the surface Grass carp? Shark? Is it a shark? That doesn't look that big. Maybe it's a pike or something. I thought it was bigger than that, I'm not gonna lie. It's not even a trophy. Which, considering the fight it gave me, maybe that last one was a tench, the one I lost. Let's see, come on. I'm going to stay in this spot through night time, see if I can catch some eels. Um, so I will either bring you back at night, or I will bring you back if I catch another trophy. Alright. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. Uh, I haven't caught anything. I just wanted to... Um, that wasn't a trophy, by the way. I think I said if I catch another trophy. I haven't got a trophy, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But I tried a little experiment here. So I have set this rod to 12 meters clipping. So it goes all the way out there. Yep. 
Number one rod to five meters clipping. Oh, I'll pop over the log. Ooh, nice tench. Um, that's at five meters clipping. Right there. And then the number two rod is eight meters clipping. It should go right about where the tip of my rod is. Or not. Whatever. Anyway, so just to see if I can kind of catch the... If I look here, look, this looks like a hole, which I think everything would be drifting down to it a little bit. I don't know. I know that, like, this is a drop-off point. So you want to aim for those where you can. It's not relevant here, obviously, unless it is literally just around there. Maybe I should be turning left a little bit. Hmm. That might be worth a try, actually. Turn a little bit left. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, so we get all the rods in. Mm -hmm. The number one rod becomes sun. So let's see if I'm facing the right way. So this won't reach the hole, but I don't know where the drop off is. <laughs> so it's not even going to get close to the hole, is it? Oh, well. Set the rail. And we're going to go with the number two rod, which is at eight meters. Might be a little closer. Set the bale. And then number three rod. Is that far enough? Hmm. It's hard to tell. Yeah, so they're all at least aiming towards the hole. So we'll see. And then we need to chuck a bit of ground bait out there. I made all the ground bait because I'm getting through it. A bit further. And a bit closer. Alright, well, number one wasn't in the hole, but whatever's there. Little gibble. All things being equal, I would go with short clipping, like five meters, seven meters. What's the point in casting all the way out? I can't see a reason why it's better. It's fun to cast that far, but then there's more reeling in, it takes longer. Setting the tension on the line takes longer. You know, I can't really see a benefit to it. More ground bait, more ground bait! I think that's where the hole is. I really wish this showed you. Like there was a way to indicate or something. No, yeah. something picked up on three and swam away from the hole. Night time's coming in. This should be eel time. Although I don't think I'm going towards eels now. Ooh, that sounds like it's pulling against the friction. It is. Ooh, that's big. It's a tench. Holy shit, that's taking a lot of line. Is that it? You done? One quick run and you're out? No. It's fast. Could be a pike. Or our tench fast? I don't know. That other tench I had wasn't fast. Just had a lot of strength. Jesus. You hear that line going out? It's going to spool me. <laughs> you know, come back in, son. It's on the other side of the lake. Oh my god. It's got to be a pike, isn't it? Is there a way to encourage it to swim this way? 
Come this way. Oh, I'm almost out of line. Well, you could see it here first. The first spooling live on camera. I'm looking down there just above the bar. That little grey sliver is how much line I have left. Come on. Tire it out. Oh, this has got to be a pike, isn't it? What else swims this fast? Oh. It's still pulling at 24. Where's it going? Holy shit. Where am I going? I don't know where I am. <laughs> well, this should be entertaining. I have no idea where I'm going. Wait, where the fuck is it? Oh no, what I do? I didn't mean to do that. Did it get out over the bridge? Oh my god, I think it went all the way through the bridge. This is a very dedicated fish. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh no, don't lose it. Don't lose it. No, I haven't lost it. Holy shit. Strap in, boys. We could be a, either I'm going to get spooled or we're going to be here all night. Can I just walk through that tree? I can. I wonder what's happening with my other two rods. <laughs> See, whenever I've chased a fish around the lake before, I've lost it. During, like, while you're moving, you got to reel in. But it's so easy to accidentally run or do something like that and then lose the fish. Is it tired? I think this is on the number four hook. See, that it's so easy to do what I just did. Very exciting game, isn't it? <laughs> Be a pike, isn't it? Okay, what the hell is that? Pikes, is that a carp? It's a grass carp. Wow, I did not know that they swam. <laughs> Well, that's a good fish. Look at this beauty. Come on, carp. Ooh, hello, mate. Yeah, you're mine. Beautiful. 
Hey, let's go back to our other rods. I wonder... Is that a trophy? Let's have a look. Oop, I'm gonna keep that. Common cart, no. All right, well, I hope that's worth a lot of money. Oh, I'll go all the way back here now. I'm running up, don't care if I scare the fish. Is that my rod pole? Here we go. Poor rods. What hell have you been, man? I've done the best I can. I've been holding on to this one. All right, let's have a quick look what's on here. Ground bait. There we go. All right, it was a good catch. All right, I'll bring you back when uh, when I sell everything. I want to see how much that was worth, or if I get a trophy in the meantime. All right, bye. All right, I decided uh, to sell up. End the video here. Uh, let's see what show you what I got. <coughs> I've got a couple of perch, but not enough. I'm at the cafe. Um, common roach? Did I get seven of those? I did. Sold them the small ones. Those muppets don't know. So what do we get for that? Let's try and remember. 20 silver. Okay, so 20 silver. Common carp. 25 silver. Let's hold on that. I want to see if you get... I think you always get more from um, here. Crucian, seven. No, that's a relief. Did I get big perch? No. Perch. Bream. I've got some bream. No big ones. Pike and black carp. Okay, so I want to have a look to see how much the big common carp is worth here. 7.58. It's not, it's not much, is it? That's a little disappointing. Thought it would be worth more than that. Okay, so 20 silver, 25 is 45. 45 silver plus 60, 105 silver. That's not bad for a night's work. I'll take that. Let me show you, uh, just before we leave, what I'm aiming for. Wait, turn around. Um, the next gear I want to get. So, on the reels... I want to go for either the Siberia Sabre 60S, which is out of stock. That's annoying. Um, or, where's the Proton? Sputnik Proton Pro, which is out of stock. That's so annoying. Anyway, I, I like the look of the Proton Pro. I think that's my favorite one. Nine kilogram reel, nice and strong. I think I prefer this, but I'm a little ways off from that. Um, but yeah, it's a nice looking reel, right? And then for the rods, feeder rods, what was the one I wanted to go? Was it the Sentence? Was it the Fortuna? What is the uh, load capacity? 18 kilograms. I mean, I could go for that. I just got to make sure that my line, I got to make sure what my weak point is. The Model 1. This is a nice looking rod. Look at this, 360, what is this? 360 gives us, come on, 28 kilograms. I mean, that would be my end game rod, right? <laughs> I just keep that one till the end of the game, pretty much. Um, rods. Is that all of them? Feeder rods. Yeah, I guess that's all of them. Um, this is what I currently have. The Karma Comfort. Palmer. Fantasia. The Percy. This one looks okay. Is this the one? Yeah, 16 and a half kilograms. I might go for this. It's cheaper. It's only two and a half stars, though. I don't need the longer one. So it's either the Percy feeder... The uh, the model one. Oh, what about the model two? Twenty four kilograms. Actually, that might be the one. The model two. I think this might be the one I go for. 
Yeah. And then uh, I will up my hooks and up my lines. I don't know what to do about the lines. I, I like the mono. It's cheaper. It seems to do the job just fine. Like I can get... What's the diameter of this one, for example? 3.4. I'd say I wanted to go up to... 70, 0.33. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. Anyway, that's the goal. It's just earn another... 1200 silver so I can get that rod and reel and then uh, a little bit more so I can pick up decent hooks I mean I'm almost on the best hooks look at this I'm on these the top hooks are these I might just buy some oh what what level do you have to be 18 anyway that's it all right it's a good video long wouldn't it go on go do some fishing get some sleep do whatever you do bye